This is Adam with Invictus Tactical Review and Soda Airsoft. We're going to take a quick look at some land nav stuff. Today we're going to be looking at declination and how to correctly adjust declination between grid north and magnetic north. So on your map, which is going to be either UTM or MGRS or pretty common, on uh, the bottom you'll probably see a little symbol. It's going to start like this. Oftentimes this is going to be just one arrow here with an angle off to the side. Now this is going to be grid north and or true north. Very rarely you'll see a second arrow that's going to be true north, but uh, essentially it's academic for where true north is. What we really care about is grid north because that's the vertical lines on our map. Now magnetic north a lot of times is going to have an arrow here. It might say, you know, three degrees. In some places it's as high as six, seven, eight, nine degrees, whatever it is but we need to adjust our compasses so that when we shoot north or 80 degrees on an azimuth that we are getting a correct adjustment based on grid to magnetic since our compasses are magnetic. So an easy way to do that, if we've got a map here, there's our grid north and our declination is set at 4 degrees and we measure on our map. We decide we need an azimuth of 60 degrees then we got to know, do I add degrees to get 64 on my compass or do I subtract to get 56 on my compass? Easy way to take a look is to just visualize it. So if we've got a grid here of 60 degrees and we've got 4 degrees um, magnetic off of grid, we can see that this is obviously the smaller of the two angles. So we're going to be subtracting that out. Whereas if you get a map, these are around, sometimes you'll see them, the declinations on the other side, two degrees. Now if I measure 60 degrees here, and this is my grid measurement of 60 degrees, obviously with my magnetic factored in, it's going to be larger, so we're going to add that. Now some people have acronyms that they use to help them remember, um, magnetic to grid, subtract. Well the question is, is that magnetic to grid from what I shot an azimuth with or is that how I get to magnetic from the grid? And was that mobile gun system or was that MGRS or was that FRS or GMRS? And by the time you get there, you've pretty much lost what the acronym is and you've made it more difficult on yourself. So the easiest way for me, visualize it. There's my declination. I take out a 90 degree angle. Is my magnetic going to be larger or smaller than my grid? That's an easy way to remember it. Now some compasses will have an adjustment. You can adjust it so that you don't have to do this every single time. Just make sure you reset it anytime you move to an area with a new declination.